So on first impression, this guy was cute for Valentine's Day or just for decoration any time of the year, maybe for my vanity. Um, I did a quick Amazon search and realized that he sells for about $35 on Amazon. Um, but on, upon closer inspection, he had a big hole or a couple roses missing from the back of his head. And it just seemed like a little cheap piece that I didn't really need. So on to the next item uh, was this Ancline purse. I definitely noticed the loose light handle and the high quality leather right away. It was clearly a vintage item. Um, so I took a look at the tag inside and a Google Lens search let me know that this Ancline for Calderon um, Handbag goes for about $40 online, but of course we know if you're a thrifter, resale prices are so overinflated and all over the place these days, but um, I love this purse for the purse itself and I'm going to buy it, <laughs> as you'll see later. Um, this was the next item. It was actually in a weird place next to like some topiaries and garden supplies. I, I don't know if it was just placed there because someone wasn't sure exactly what it was or if it was just waiting there for me. Um, but I was very excited, I'm sort of tearing into this, looking at the quality and knowing that this was clearly a vintage uh, rattan purse um, with leather accents. Um, so I look at, took a look at the tag inside and um, another quick search showed me that someone's actually selling one of these on Etsy right now for about $60. Um, there's a similar style that is by Etienne Agner, I believe, and those ones sell for about double the price of this one. Again, resale prices for this particular bag and uh, similar styles really all over the place, anywhere from like 30 to 65-ish dollars. Um, but I was so excited about that beautiful, beautiful bag. Um, nice to pick up some vintage pieces. Next was this zebra tissue box. Um, so I just thought it was quirky and kind of fun. So next I found the present company LTD website and took a look at their listing um, for this item. Unfortunately, they don't have a picture on the website, but I was pretty confident that this is what I was buying. Um, it sells for like 80 something, like close to 90 pounds in the UK. I thought that was interesting, but it's cute. I'm not planning to resell any of this stuff. Oh yeah. Up next was these pink metallic, um, shoes. I don't know where I get the idea that I can carry off mules, but it seemed like a good idea at the time. I tried them on in the store and immediately put them back. Um, they were gently used though and only $7.99 and you guys know that Goodwill is horrible about overpricing shoes especially. Um, there's only a quick glimpse of these saucers in the video, but um, here they are once I got them home. I thought it was really interesting to see because um, I just thought they were cute and um, put them into my cart, but come to find out, um, I guess this is allegedly a high value item in the resale community. I don't need to mean to keep knocking the resale community because I have done resale myself and a lot of times I consider it, but um, $30 for this little salad plate or $20 for it. But overall, this was the win of today's thrifting session. I am so in love with this, the quality of it, knowing that this item is probably older than me and might even outlive me. It's just the quality and the craftsmanship and the love that you can see went into so many vintage pieces and I'm honored to own this for a long time to come. I know that sounds really cheesy, but um, that in a nutshell is like thrifting for me and part of why I love it so much is just finding vintage items, really beautiful and cool things. So I hope you enjoyed this haul and I will be doing more in the future.